Hi, I'm Priya. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a review of this book, Celestial Bodies by Joka Alharthi. This book was published in 2010 and Joka Alharthi got Man Booker Prize in 2019 for the English translation of this book. The story of this book is set in the village Al Awafi and also in the city of Muscat in Oman. The, and the story is based in the lives uh, of uh, three sisters, Maya, Asma and Kaula and all the characters who are related to them through blood and marriage. The story is presented uh, through the chapters under the titles of the various characters and also it is presented through the point of view of an omniscient narrator who describes the incident but doesn't describe what the characters are actually thinking. We do not get to know about uh, the deep version of the characters. We just get to know how much we need to know to understand the progress of the incidents. There is also one character who gives us the first person narrative and that is Abdullah, the husband of Maya. Abdullah who is going to Frankfurt by a flight and the jerking of the flight throws him into a dreamlike half awake scenario where he recollects all the memories uh, from his childhood to the present day. So uh, sometimes he describes the incident of his childhood and sometimes he describes the experiences of his life as a son or as a father or as a husband. And uh, there is one mystery which Abdullah continuously tries to uncover that is the death of his mother. The novel also touches upon the political scenario of Oman, the slave trading, the condition of the lives of the slaves and the banning of slave trading. The condition of women are also very well portrayed in the novel. The various uh, descriptions of the rituals of wedding and also the various superstitions are very well portrayed. The purity of the culture is very well preserved. There are some descriptions of some other characters which are not that much necessary to the development of the story but we get to know something about the main characters uh, from those unnecessary characters. Those are uh, Manin, the village, and also Marwan, the peer. The driving force of the novel is actually love. There are various kinds of love. The unrequited love of Abdullah for his wife Maya, the uh, devotion of Khawla, the third sister, to his husband Nasir, who leaves her and then comes back to her. The blind love of London for Ahmed, and uh, the compromising love of Asma for Khalid. There is also an unexplainable connection between the slave master Sulema and the slave Zarifa. And uh, there is also the passion between Kamar and Azan. But which is the best kind of love? That is not portrayed. The author presented a um, family chart at the very beginning of the book so that we do not get confused about the characters, their family backgrounds. So overall this is a very gripping tale about family and uh, relations, love and the way the political scenario is involved in that. So it is worth the time of reading and I enjoyed it thoroughly. Thank you for watching. For more reviews of the book, subscribe to my channel.